In this lesson, I'll be simplifying special characters in regular expressions because they are special. In the previous lesson of this course, we looked at meta characters and we saw that meta characters have special meanings or functions in regular expressions. We also saw that meta characters are made up of two characters. We have the backward slash and we have a character and this combination can mean or represent several things. Well, we also have special characters which also have special meanings or functions in regular expressions, but unlike meta characters, a special character is made up of just one character. A special character is a symbol that has a special meaning or function in regular expression. So in this lesson, we'll be looking at some of the most common special characters in regular expressions, which you can use in different programming languages. The first special character we'll be looking at is the wildcard character. The dot character is called the wildcard character. As a wildcard character, it matches any character. So it matches a letter, a number, a space, and even a symbol. The only character it does not match is the new line character. Let's see an example pattern. Let's say we have a pattern like B dot, and then we have a quantifier of two, and then we have D. This pattern matches any substring which starts from B, followed by any character one, followed by any character two because we have a quantifier of two and then followed by d now let's apply it on a string for example say we have strange words like blood b9 a d b a space d b a dollar d and b a l o d these are indeed strange words and then for a pattern we have b dot and then i have a quantifier of two which means dot dot like this Instead, I'm just going to use a quantifier of two and then I have D. Now, as you can see here, the pattern matches B9AD and that is because B is this. Nine is represented by the white card character. Remember I said it can match any character, including digits. A is also represented by the dots, which is a letter in this case. And then we have D, which is the D at the end here. It also matches B, A space D. Space is also represented by the dot character. Then we have B, A dollar D. And dollar is also represented by the white card character. Now let's say for this space, I instead put a new line. You can see that B, A, new line D is not matched and that's because the white card character does not match a new line but we can actually change that behavior now if you remember in the flags lesson we looked at one of the flags which is the single line flag or the new line flag when you add this new line flag as you can see now B A new line D is now matched that is because by default the white card character does not match a new line but when you put the S flag which is the new line or single line flag then the dot special character the white card character will now be able to match new lines. So I hope you still remember from the flags lesson. If you haven't watched the flags lesson, I definitely recommend that you check it out. The second special character I'll be looking at is the beginning character. When you use the correct character at the beginning of a regular expression, then the correct character becomes an anchor, which is also called the beginning character. By using this character, it will match the beginning of a string if the pattern that follows the beginning character can be found at the beginning of the string. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have a pattern like this we have the carrot, then we have a double quote, we have the wildcard character, we have a quantifier with a minimum of three and a maximum of infinity, then we have another double quote. Now since we're using the carrot at the beginning of this regular expression, then it means it's going to be a beginning character. Now this pattern would match the beginning part of a string if that part starts with a double quote followed by any character repeated three or more times followed by a quote. Let's see a string example. Let's say we have a string like no. I won't, he said. No, I won't is in quotes. And then for our pattern, we have the beginning character because we're using the caret at the beginning. And then we have double quotes. And then we have a wide card character, which like I said, matches letters, spaces, digits, and also symbols, except a new line. Don't forget that exception. Then we have a quantifier with the minimum of three and a maximum of infinity. So I'm not going to provide a maximum. And then I have another double quote. As you can see here, this substring is matched at the beginning because our pattern says, quotes, any character three or more times another quote, and this is it here. And this is a match because we have the caret and the caret says the match must be found at the beginning. Now watch what happens if I put something at the beginning here. Let's say I put something like hello. You can see that no I won't is no longer match. And the reason for that is even though no I won't with the double quotes actually matches this part of our pattern, because it is not found at the beginning, it is not a match. So for it to be a match, it has to be found at the beginning. Now remember when we talked about the multi-line match flag M in the flags lesson, we can 
apply that flag to the beginning special character. Here is how. Let's say we have a string like opal is spelt wrong. I-P-P-L-E is spelled wrong. And then let's say we have a pattern like we have the caret using at the beginning means beginning special character. And then we have a character class. And in this character class, we have O or I. And then we have P-P-L-E. Now here you can see we have only one match because this is the substring that matches this pattern and is also found at the beginning of the string. If I remove this caret, you can see OPPL is matched, IPPL is matched. But if I come back and I put the beginning special character, only this one is matched because that is what begins the string. But another thing you notice here is that this match begins this string on the first line and this part also begins this string on the second line. So we can change the default behavior of the beginning special character that instead of looking at the whole string and just checking the beginning, I want you to also look at the beginning of each line. And this is where we use the multi-line match flag. Remember from the flags lesson, multi-line here. Now that we have the multi-line flag M, you can see that this is a match because it matches the pattern and it is found at the beginning of the first line. This is also a match because it matches the pattern and it is found at the beginning of the second line. If I come back here and I remove the multi-line match flag you can see this second one is not matched because by default the beginning special character considers all of these as just one string sorry one string and then it checks the beginning of that string but if i come back and i add the multi-line match flag then the beginning special character will not just check everything as one string but it will check every line can this pattern be found at the substring of every line and then it matches it but again if i put something before ipple like number nine you can see this is no longer a match because ipple is not found at the beginning of the line there is actually a character nine before you find that substring the next special character i'll be looking at is the ending special character. When you use the dollar symbol at the end of a regular expression, it becomes an anchor which makes it an ending special character. When you use this special character in a pattern, it does the opposite of the beginning special character. It matches the end part of a string if that end part matches the pattern in our regular expression. Let's see an example. Let's say we have a pattern where we have backward slash s which is the white space meta character and then we have backward slash w which is the word meta character and then we have a quantifier of 4 on the word meta character and then we have the dollar symbol. So what this means is that this pattern would match the end part of a string if the end part has a space followed by a word character repeated four times. Let's apply this to a string example. Let's say we have an example like she likes to play ball and then I come here I change this pattern to white space meta character word meta character and then I apply a quantifier of four. As you can see this matches space L I K E and it matches space P L A Y and it matches space B A L L. But when I apply the dollar symbol, you can see that only the space B A L L is matched. That is because this is the substring that matches our pattern that can also be found at the end of the string. Let's say I put a full stop after this. You can see this no longer matches because this pattern is not found at the end of the string. Our pattern doesn't have a full stop, but we have a full stop here. But if I move the full stop, again you can see because this substring matches our pattern and it is found at the end of the string it becomes a match now let's say we had another line like they like to catch fish you can see again the ending special character matches space and fish because it matches this pattern but space and ball is also a match now just like the beginning special character by default the ending special character considers everything as just one string and then it checks the end of that string but again we can also tell the ending special character that don't just consider everything as a string also check the end of every line if there are multiple lines in that string. This is where we use the multi-line match flag again. So I'll come back here and turn it on. And as you can see, space ball is a match because it matches our pattern and it is found at the end of the line. Space fish is also a match because it matches our pattern and it is found at the end of the line. If I put something after ball, you see it no longer matches. But if I remove this, you can see it becomes a match. If I come back here and I remove the multi-line flag, you see only space fish is matched. If I put multi-line flag, you see that the ending special character now checks the end of every line. The next special character we'll be looking at is the escape special character. The backward slash symbol represents the escape special character and this special character is used for escaping other characters. What does it mean? What is the purpose of this special character? Let's look at a string example. Let's say we had a string like my website is a 
dot com now if we want to match the domain if we want to match a dot com we can have a pattern like a character class from a to z like this so this will match a or b or c or d or e or f up onto z and then we have dot com so here you can see that this matches a dot com it would also match b dot com it would also match c dot com it will also match d dot com but one problem here is that we have the wildcard special character and if you remember the wildcard special character matches any character except a new line so in this case the wildcard special character is matching the dot here but if we change this to 8 you can see that this still matches that is because the wildcard special character dot also represents digits if i have hyphen here it will also match if i have a hash here it will also match if i have a d here it will also match now in this case we don't want this we don't want this dot here to match any character so how do we tell our regular expression that i want the dot i don't want the wildcard special character dot i want the normal character dot then this is where we use the escape special character so by coming to this dot here and then putting the backward slash like this what we are doing is we're telling the regular expression i don't want the wildcard special character i want the normal dot character so now you can see this is not a match if i put d hyphen com it doesn't match if i put d hash com it doesn't match if i put d a com it doesn't match but if i put the dot you can now see that it matches because by escaping the wildcard special special character this turns it to a normal dot character and now it matches the dot that we want in our domain the escape special character is useful for escaping characters that by default have a different meaning in patterns examples are escaping the beginning special character you can also use the escape special character with the ending special character and also you can use the escape special character to escape the escape special character what do i mean by this let's say we want to match the backward slash well if we have a backward slash like this this doesn't work because this is an escape special character now how do we tell the regular expression i do not want the escape special character i want the normal backward slash character well then we'll now have to put a backward slash before it which means i don't want the escape special character i want the normal backward slash character so in this case we are escaping the escape special character i hope it makes sense basically the function of this is to escape characters that have other meaning when you're using square brackets in character classes you can see that these characters have other meanings but if you want to match the literal characters you want to match an opening square bracket you want to match a dollar sign then use the escape special character to tell the regular expression i want the normal character there are still more special characters for us to look at but i'm going to cover that in another lesson so i hope this lesson explains the idea of special characters as you can see these are symbols that have special functions in regular expressions and the special characters we looked at in this lesson are the wildcard special character which matches any character including digits spaces letters and symbols except the new line character we have the beginning special character which matches a part of a string if that substring can be found at the beginning we also have the ending special character which matches a part of a string if that substring can be found at the end and then we also looked at the escape special character which is used for escaping other characters that might have different meanings and functions when you want to match a normal character in this lesson i don't have assignments for you because we still have more special characters to look at but in the next lesson where we look at these special characters i would have assignments for you